अस्सलाम वालेकुम हेलो एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सिंस इट्स इवनिंग हियर इफ यू आर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो एट इवनिंग टाइम सो गुड इवनिंग टू यू एज वेल अदरवाइज गुड आफ्टरनून गुड नून गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू वट टाइम यू आर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज़ अबाउट सिंटेक्स एंड ग्रामर द टॉपिक दैट इज कंस्टिट्यूंट्स एंड ट्री डाइग्राम इन सिंटेक्स एंड ग्रामर एंड द टॉपिक्स विच वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस वीडियो that is constituent explanation in detail evidence of structure in sentences some syntactic tests for constituent structure there are four tests introduction to constituent structure tests and relationships within the tree so let's get started constituent in syntax and grammar means that a constituent is an identifiable sub part of a sentence means it's identifiable sub part of a sentence it can either be a single word it doesn't mean that it can't be a single word constituents can be a single word even it can be a group of words that functions as a unit like most constituents are called phrases this is the main point that most constituents are also called phrases in syntax analysis a constituent is a word or a group of words that function as a single unit within a hierarchical structure like the constituent structure of sentences is identified using tests for constituents and a group of words it's another definition a group of words that function together as a unit that is called constituent in english grammar a constituent it's another definition regarding english grammar a constituent is a linguistic part of a larger sentence phrase or clause for instance all the words and phrases that make up a sentence are said to be constituents like the words or phrases which makes a sentence that can be a constituents of that sentence a constituent can be a morpheme this is the main point like it can be morpheme it can be word it can be phrases it can be clauses so sentences always identifies the subject predict predicate or different parts of speech like different parts of speech we talk about noun pronoun and the same verb adjective adverb a process known as parsing like the sentence into its constituents it sounds more complicated than it is every sentence and every phrase and clause has constituents again it's the main point like every phrase and every clause that has constituents that is to say every sentence is made up a part of other things like that work together to make the sentence meaningful so it is uh, it's done owing to this like uh, uh, it makes the sentence meaningful that is why uh, the section is performed uh, this work is done like my dog aristotle bit the postal carrier on the ankle now the constituent parts are the subject made up of a noun phrase like my dog aristotle it's what it's noun phrase the same and the predicate a verb phrase like bit the proposal yeah bit the postal career on the ankle and each of the phrases in the sentence can be further broken down its into its own constituents like the subject noun phrase includes the noun aristotle and obviously aristotle is what aristotle is noun and a possessive pronoun and noun like my dog uh, that modifies yeah modify aristotle the verb phrase includes the verb like bit and the noun phrase the postal career and the prepositional phrase on the ankle so here we are also talking about phrases because uh, constituents are related to phrases too now evidence of structure in sentences one way to show that syntactic structure actually exists is to examine sentences which are syntactically ambiguous like that is sentence which have more than one meaning note all ambiguities syntactic some is lexical like as in leave and down to the bank now does this mean the river bank means it's a question for you does this mean the river bank or the place where money is kept in other cases though ambiguity arises because we can't tell which words group together to form a phrase this is syntactic ambiguity so this is called what this is 
actually syntactic ambiguity. For instance, a sentence like the following ap uh, appeared in a British national newspaper causing an unforeseen breakdown in communication like black cab drivers went on strike yesterday. So you can read it out. Its explanation is here. And the next point that is like black black cab drivers went. Now just focus on these brackets. Like black cab drivers went on strike. Now again black cab drivers went on strike. In both 2A and 2B the whole praise back cab drivers is constituent of the sentence. Hence it is in brackets but the differing internal brackets show that the words SI that praise group together in different ways depending on what black cab drivers actually means like in 2a in this sentence cab drivers from a form a constituent whereas in 2b black cab forms a constituent means in the first sentence cab drivers form a constituent but in the second sentence black cab forms a constituent and the second like the boy and the girl's uncle stayed to dinner this is of course is ambiguous so it whether just as one person stayed like it's again there is uh, they are creating uh, ambiguity like one person stayed or two person stayed focus on this uh, s also like uh, the apostrophe after that there is s as the variance with tag questions make clear like the boy and the girl's uncle stayed a din to dinner didn't he again it's tag questions the boy and the girl's uncle stayed to dinner, didn't they? So in four, these are two different meanings or readings to use the technical term. And as we will see, each of these readings corresponds to a particular constituent structure. That is particular growing of words like, like the ambiguity in four lies in the praise, the boy and the girls. So it's complete explanation. It's in easy language. You can also read it out. If I read it out, so the video may get longer. The same, it's another example. You can also, uh, it's also related to structural ambiguity. And now we will talk about some syntactic tests for constituent structure. We have used the process, positive S suffix like X, which only attached to noun praise constituents. As a morphological test for the consistency, but to discover all the constituents of a sentence and not just noun praise we also need syntactic tests one syntactic test is seen at the end of the previous section a constituent can often be replaced by a pronoun but a random string of words cannot be uh, like we know go to we now go on to examine more syntactic tests like how it can be pronounced for example like uh, if we talk about paragraph sometimes when we write paragraph and paragraph writing if you are talking about a single person so you can't mention his or her name again and again so you have to mention you have to use pronouns now the first point is the sentence fragment test the first test in this section utilizes short answers to questions like if i ask who went on strike if I ask this question from you, who went on strike? A reasonable answer is uh, like black cab drivers. So the reasonable answer is what? Black cab drivers. Answer like these which are not full sentences are called sentence fragments. So this is important. If someone asks from you that what does sentence fragment mean? So this is the definition and it's the best example. Like if I ask who went on strike, the reasonable answer is black cab drivers. And they provide syntactic evidence about which the words group together to form a constituent, a string of words, uh, evidence about which words group together to form a constituent, like a string of words that can be a sentence fragment must be a constituent. So here black cab driver is confirmed as a constituent of one. Again, it's uh, talking about constituents. But the main point in this paragraph, that is, if uh, someone asks from you what does sentence fragment mean, because it's the part of this some syntactic tests the first test is the sentence fragment test so the answer should be your like uh, is the section utilized your turn answers to questions means the it's utilizes short answers to questions if someone asks from you uh, about the previous example 
who went on strike the reasonable answer is a black cab drivers answer like these which are not sentences are called sentence fragments means such kind of answers are not sentences so these are called what sentence fragments and uh, here is another example you can also read it out of regarding the same uh, example which we discussed at the previous slide however the sentence fragment test can be often used to discover more about internal structure on hearing for someone might try to resolve the confusion by asking but whose uncle stayed to dinner it means it there that's the previous example regarding the dinner about the boys and girls the second test is the eco question test so when the word eco comes we know what does it mean like eco questions are out in our next test for constituent structure these questions are used in english when the speaker does not hear part of the sentence mean the speaker does not hear what you are saying that's why sometimes he or she might say this that pardon me what did you say or else is rather ridiculous in critic in ridiculous example you saw what we saw a wh word what who where when and so on and including how or a wh wh phrase like you saw which film to replace just the part of the sentence that we want to be repeated otherwise echoing the speaker's words the wh word or phrase does not replace a random string of words but can only stand for a constituent of the sentence like kim wrote what with the blue color cover so kim bought what with her first wages the grammatical eco question in this and uh, 16 like in this one is fine like because what replaces that book which is a constituent of 11 but 15 is ungrammatical because that book is only part of a larger constituent that book with the blue cover in 10 like crucially that look book itself is not a constituent in this case and so can't be replaced by a wh word we can however eco just a heard known or <clears throat> had known on its own for example in 10 we talk about we can replace book with a wh word giving kim lost that what uh, with the blue cover like the reason for this I mean that is a, a related to another example uh, like 10 we didn't discuss here that's uh, uh, focusing on that book in fact we have already used this test earlier the eco question so the boy and who stayed at dinner again the uh, previous example has been discussed here the third is the clip test this is also the most important a further test focuses on structures of confirms of finding like the two sentences in 10a and 11 have different structures in the clip sentence restriction like illustrated a 17 the string of words in the focus position must be a constituent so in 17 we can focus on the whole sequence like the book with the blue cover showing that this is a constituent it was that book with the blue cover that kim wrote but in 18 the sequence that book with her first wages is not a constituent and so can't occur the focus like position of a split sentence this confirms what we saw in 14a so it was that book with her first wages that kim wrote so it's wrong when we talk about asterisk like there is a star so that sentence can't be right displacement and dependency it illustrates an important property of human language like the ability to displace or move a phrase from its own basic position when we talk about displacement so it means like uh, we talk about movement so the same here we are talking about basic position mean the basic position of what phrase that is uh, displace or move uh, from a basic position the hallmark of such displacement is that a phrase is understood semantically as it if were in the position in the clause but occurs physically syntactically and audibly in a different position in the clause we can illustrate using the clips and examples uh, seen earlier like it was non phrase that took that kim brought with her first wages it was a prepositional phrase with her first wages that kim brought that book so it's another example another explanation the same sentences has been repeated here you can also read it out and the same uh it now introduction to constituent structure trees we are talking about structure so structure is this 
like we if we talk about tree diagram means we are talking here about tree diagram so here is a sentence for us that the tall boy spelled his milk so this means like uh, if we if we want to draw the tree diagram of it how it will be this hole is what this hole is actually the the whole uh, is about sentence means we are talking about a single sentence the tall boy uh, spilled his black his uh, milk so the same like the tall boy is what the tall boy is that the is what the is determiner the same tall boy is noun praise the tall boy is actually noun praise then again if we talk about uh, tall tall is obviously adjective and boy is obviously noun and uh, spilled his milk spilled his milk is actually verb praise the same is spilled is what verb and his is what determiner as well as uh, his milk is actually noun praise and milk is actually noun this is another example and in each case there is a major split between the subject noun praise on the left branch and the predicate over uh, you can also uh, watch you can also search these examples from google too and here is another example the dog saw a man the the park in the park so you can watch you can also see that this is whole sentence so now we can divide the sentence into different phrases into different sections now the dog saw like the dog is what noun praise you see uh, like the same saw a man in the park it's verb praise now the is what determiner then dog is noun the same saw is verb and uh, determiner we a is determiner and main is noun the same in is preposition then again the park is noun praise but after noun praise it's the is determiner and park is noun uh, relationships within the tree so this is again like talking about their rules verb praise verb prepositional praise noun praise and these brackets are re read like this the whole constitution is a prepositional praise means there are important brackets in these all like label brackets label tree diagrams which we have to draw about uh, we, when we have to draw the tree diagram so there are these are important that we sometimes it rep represents it with label brackets so this was all about today's i hope this video has been helpful for you thanks for watching see you in the next video if you have really liked this video if this video has sparked your interest i request you suggest you to like share comment and take care of yourself